Hey, good morning. I'm John Rhodes. I have a question for you. How do you handle yourself in a crisis? Recently, there was a quote from the uh, a California Center for Disease Control official who said, if you're not being paid to panic, don't panic. And it kind of stuck with me. and I laughed when I heard it because if it's not your job to panic, then don't. And if you're not getting paid money, then don't panic. And I wonder how often that happens. And it kind of prompted the question for me of how do we handle ourselves in a crisis? Are you the type of person that kind of puts your hands up in the air and runs around in small circles with the idea that the fear keeps feeding on itself and that that panic continues to roll over on itself and create more panic? Are you the type of person who is able to keep a level head? Do you believe that things are only going to get worse and that feeds that fear? Based on a lot of the other uh, videos that I've posted on black and white thinking, on being triggered and figuring out whether what part of our brain, our brain we're working out of, uh, out of the how we resolve conflicts and how we communicate with other people, the even the idea of the exaggerated words that we use, all lead into what we believe about how we handle ourselves in a crisis. And my ask is to take a look at yourself of how you handle a specific crisis. Thinking back to after 9-11, when when part of the fear and panic was to put uh, duct tape on windows to prevent bomb blasts from blowing the glass inside the windows, or uh, when the bird flu hit several years ago and for six months we caught every bird that fell out of the sky to test whether or not it had bird flu. Those extreme answers of the, the fear that it created kept rolling over on itself and didn't solve the problem. There were people who were working on those problems and the rest of us had to figure out what to do with ourselves. So if the question is, how do you handle yourself in a crisis? Do you observe yourself when that happens? What goes on in your head? What are the emotions that you're feeling? What are the sensations that you're feeling in your body? And do you have any ability to shift those into a more productive way? Is it possible to look at things objectively, to assess instead of react? And what might that look like in terms of gaining the best information you have possible, looking for resources that you're able to trust, or if resources conflict, how to resolve that conflict for yourself, not buying into extreme language of, of um, always or never or um, some of the headlines that we may see in the news of actually using the word crisis or pandemic that create this kind of fear that keeps building. Is it possible to look for practical solutions of what needs to be done to solve a problem when something goes wrong? My ask is to take some time this week and look at that. What's going on around you and what do you have control of and what do you have influence over and who can you trust in terms of finding practical answers instead of panicking? At the minimum, my request this week and as we go forward is to please keep washing your hands. Use soap. Try to stay away from things that will continue to pass along the panic. If you have any questions, if you'd like to comment, if you want to continue this conversation, I'd be happy to. I'm John Rhodes. This is Rhodes Life Coaching. I hope you're able to find purpose and meaning in daily life.